here's an interesting new poll. It's from Siena College, and it shows that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has wasted no time in becoming deeply unpopular among voters in her home state of New York. A total of 33% of those polled said they liked Ocasio-Cortez. A whopping 44% did not. How did someone who's been in Congress only a few months turn off so many people and so quickly? Well, the Congresswoman has a ready answer for that, as she does for most things. As she explained on Twitter, Republicans, working in concert with that dastardly Fox News, quote, otherize and demonize anyone who isn't, quote, a white male. In other words, it's bigotry, pure and simple. Those may look like bad poll numbers. What they really are is racism. Now, it's possible you will scoff at this explanation. It is whiny and predictable and totally self-serving. It's also unsupported by evidence. So skepticism is a fair response. But let's go a little deeper for a second. What we have here is not simply a cynical excuse for personal failings, one we've heard a thousand times from politicians, racism. What Ocasio-Cortez has given us instead is a litmus test for our souls. It's simple. When you agree with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, you are a good person. When you disagree with her, you are not. You're a racist, a bigot, a hater, a loathsome human being. Got that? Okay. Prepare for the exam. We're not proctoring this test. We're on TV right now, and you're at home or in a bar. We're going to have to use the honor system here. We're going to play you a series of clips. Now, be honest about how you feel about them. Everything hangs in the balance. First, we're going to consider AOC's views on children. She doesn't have any, and there's a reason for that. She cares too much. Her heart is too big. Watch her explain. Our planet is going to be a disaster if we don't turn the ship around. And so it's basically like there's scientific consensus that the lives of children are going to be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question. You know, should, is it okay to still have children? Is it okay to still have children? That is AOC's question to you. Now, if you answered, are you kidding? Of course it's okay to have children. And by the way, back off, you authoritarian creep. How many kids I have is none of your business. If you answered that way, you failed the test. You're probably a white supremacist. If, on the other hand, you paused for a moment, thought deeply about climate change, and realized that actually some unmarried 29-year-old member of Congress probably should be in charge of your childbearing decisions, then congratulations. You passed. You are virtuous, not a racist at all. Okay, on to number two. This one's about food. My Twitter mentions I'm getting a lot of references about cow farts. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's a reference to your Green New Deal. Yes. Can you explain that for us? We gotta address factory farming. Maybe we shouldn't be eating a hamburger for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the question is, how many hamburgers should you be allowed to eat in the course of a day? Now, there are two possible answers here. The first is, huh? What kind of question is that? Isn't this America? And hey, stop eating off my plate. That, unfortunately, is the racist answer. It's the one that Bull Connor would have given if he were still alive enough to eat Big Macs. The correct answer is, I will eat exactly as many hamburgers as Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez allows me to eat, and I will be grateful for them. If that was your response, congratulations to you. You are a good person. Now to number three. This one's about immigration. Those women and children trying to come here with nothing but the shirts on their back to create an opportunity and to pr provide for this nation are acting more in an American tradition than this president is right now. So the question is, who is more American, actual Americans or foreigners who spit on our customs and mock our laws by sneaking into our country illegally and calling us racist if we try to make them leave? This is a tough one. Keep thinking. Okay, time's up. The answer is, illegal aliens are the real Americans. Duh! If you doubted that for a second, please hate yourself. You deserve it. And now for the final question on our test. This one is the Daily Double. See how you do. Criticisms of you is that your math is fuzzy. The Washington Post recently awarded you four Pinocchios. Oh, I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, and semantically correct than about being morally right. Factually correct. Now, this question gets right to the heart of it all. Are you one of those troglodytes who still cares about facts, about numbers and evidence and physical reality? It's 2019, man. Physics is just a preference. 
if you persist in being factually correct and continue to read books, speak in complete sentences, please know that you are committing racism. You, sir, are a bigot. And Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez condemns you. She, by contrast, is morally right and utterly certain of it. On this test, that is all that matters.